Yo, what is up YouTube? It's your boy Shadja back again with another YouTube video and today we are playing NBA 2K19 My Team. I know you guys are excited for the game. I know you guys are excited for the gameplay for everything. I know I am. But um, you know, we're going to recap. Basically, this series is going to be the grind team. You know, well, there's going to be a little bit of money spent, but it's not going to be like a god team. And it's not going to be no money spent. This is just going to be my journey to grinding to make the best 2K team I can to getting the best rewards, to getting the best packs, everything I can do. But um, as you can see, obviously, you know, this is the team. I won with the Washington Wizards. Obviously, you know, I'm a Wizards fanboy, John Wall. And um, basically, when I got the game, you know, I started playing Friday at midnight, pre-ordered the, you know, Hall of Fame edition. So in a second, we're going to be opening the pre-order bonus packs. As you can see, you get the one weekly pack, and then you get the LeBron, and you get the Giannis. I'm not going to show you guys that, but in my weekly pack, I actually got um, Drew Holiday, who ended up being my starting point guard for a little bit. As you can see, this is the team I got with the basic pack that you get for starting the game, and then all the reward packs that you get for pre-ordering and stuff. So this game not this game so this episode basically my what my goal was when i was playing um this night was to go and unlock the auction house so you know there's a couple of missions you have to do you have to do domination you have to do triple threat triple threat online my team unlimited and then you have to play a couple weekly challenges but as you can see this is me in domination you know um i played the first game that's available um so they did it differently this year but you know as you can see i'm playing the utah jazz it was easy, it was a blowout. I mean, there's gonna be a common thread as you can see in the gameplay, but if you have the LeBron and you have the Giannis, let them go to work and you'll be able to destroy basically any game mode. Um, there's really not a problem, but as you can see, I won. I got the necessary tokens, the necessary points. Um, it really wasn't any struggle. If you're having difficulties, I can drop a video on how to make sure you um, get all the points necessary to make sure you beat the teams and get three stars of domination so you can move on in advance. But it really wasn't that hard for me. And I'm gonna show you in the player pack you get, if you're not familiar with NBA 2K19, my team, you get a player pack every time you three star domination team i got Derek favors from the utah jazz so he ended up being my new starting center but as you can see i'm going on i'm trying to make sure that i can complete the challenges in order to unlock the auction house just so i can see like what cards are going for what price here's the triple threat this game mode this like triple threat version is the one where it's offline where you're playing the offline teams the rewards in this one aren't as good for the ones where you play online and you'll see that a little bit later on in the video but i got matched up with the brooklyn nets so i went up against them and triple threat and again no problem at all. Let Giannis, let LeBron do their thing. They finished hard. It wasn't difficult at all. If you guys have these cards, or if you have, you know, good athletic, like, bigs, this game, this 2K, is very defensive orientated. So on offense, if you have fast, strong, quick players that can muscle down and break down defenses, you're gonna be able to do well. But as you can see, I was able to hop in easily beat the cpu and now we're gonna go take it online take our same three players drew holiday Giannis, and lebron and go online and even online i didn't really have too much trouble the guy i was playing with was not very good at the game or maybe i'm just better than him i'm not sure i don't want to give myself too many compliments but um again easy competition easy gameplay my players did what they had to do i was able to get my points get the dubs it's very important that when you're going to um unlock the auction house not only do you have to play in these game modes you actually have to win so i would recommend that if you need to maybe use your trial cards i wouldn't use them offline i wouldn't ever use them against the cpu because the cpu is actually very easy to beat and especially a lot of the challenges that you get you're only playing maybe like two one or possibly three quarters you're not playing like the entire game so to me like when you get your um so for instance like since i picked the wizards i got the um free agent john wall i haven't played a single game with him um i've tried him out in um the practice mode i've gotten a few shots up with him but i haven't i haven't played with him in any game modes yet i'm waiting until like maybe like i'm playing my um unlimited matches so i can use him like in case i really need a w and i want to make sure i improve my odds but i highly recommend highly highly recommend that you don't use free agent cards ever offline unless you really really need to beat someone but this is the guy i had to play my uh, limited mode he used his kevin love online which is what i would recommend that you do but i wouldn't use it i mean you can use it now i guess but i would wait until you're maybe in like a tougher situation like if you're high up and you need to make sure you get a w but the guy i was playing was not very good i felt bad for him because he used his kevin love and he got absolutely blown out it was actually a pretty severe beating i took my Giannis and my lebron and i went to work on his team he didn't really know how to play good defense so i was able to walk away with the 50 point w 
got a lot more coins a lot more i made like 1.5 kmt off of this but again these games take like 20 minutes so when you're making mt when you're playing this game make sure you know you can sit down make sure you have the um, right amount of time so you can play these games but afterwards this is the first weekly challenge that you actually have to hop into this game when you play and you win you get rewarded with a free emerald player and a pack i'm not sure if you're guaranteed like i don't know if everyone gets the same player or what that deal is but again it's kind of hard to lose these quite frankly i ended up winning pretty easily i mean you're already up when the game starts and you only have to play like three or so minutes but like i said hopped in the game got some mt didn't really focus on maximizing my mt i'll make a video on that making sure like if you hop into a game how to make sure you get as much mt as possible but got my free player pack and in this pack i actually end up getting um emerald d'angelo russell who is actually a budget beast. Uh, I don't know if I wanna say a budget beast because I'm not really sure how much he's going for. I've noticed that a lot of the prices that I've seen on the market are a lot different than what um, you would expect last year. But um, I got D'Angelo Russell, I'm really happy with him. And as you can see, I'm actually entering in a locker code. If you don't know about this locker code, it's the code that Ronnie mentioned a while ago and a lot of other YouTubers have made a video about it. But basically, you type this locker code in and you get a chance to get 10K MT. Me specifically, I actually wanted to aim for more of the tokens because I felt like the more I can, um, basically, if don't know how the token situation operates this year um instead of the weekly challenges where you have to get like the token and the token adds up to a player there's like a whole token screen where um it starts off with emerald and you take three tokens and you can unlock an emerald player right away and um that'll get you a player so i took those and i actually got courtney lee you're gonna see that in a little bit but um this was the first this was the second weekly challenge played it didn't want to show you guys gameplay didn't want to waste your guys' time it was easy and after i beat this i was actually able to go and unlock the auction house which was my main goal kind of like what i wanted to do before i go to bed i was checking out some prices but i'm um, going back to what i said earlier there is a menu where you can select um tokens for players and so how it works this year is three tokens can get you an emerald player and after you've unlocked um 10 emerald players or if you spend 30 tokens essentially you can go on to the next tier which i believe is sapphire and then you can take five tokens and it keeps going on and on and on until eventually you'll get to the galaxy opals which are the best cards in the game so um so I wanted to aim for the tokens, that way I could get them quickly and I could get my way up to the Sapphire board fairly quickly. Right now I'm just looking at cards, looking at prices, looking at what I can afford, checking out how the market is playing out. This was on release night, so prices have probably dropped by now actually significantly. Whenever I end up dropping this video, it'll probably come out on Sunday. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this informative My Team video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. Make sure you comment down below for anything you guys want to see of. Make sure you leave a like, especially if you guys want to see more NBA 2K My Team soon. I'm thinking about uploading my career. Let me know what you guys think about that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It's been your boy Shadow Joe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.